but you weren't here so you missed it. I've been up for two hours already. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Oh, you're looking nice. I'm cooking. Uh, I was going to make a quiche, which I did. It's in the oven right now, and it's a little hot in here. And also, uh, remember guys when I got the Hannaford's magazine? I was going to make the um, lasagna, what do you call those? Cups. I guess you could call them light lasagna cups. I was gonna make that, but I don't have time. So I'm probably gonna make that if we're hungry for dinner tonight, or maybe I'll just make it tonight and we'll have a snack of that. These are the veggies that was gonna go into that. And um, if we don't eat it, we'll just eat it for lunch tomorrow, you know, tomorrow. So that's good. So I don't wanna just bring a quiche because I feel that's a little bit not enough. So I'm going to um, quickly put together this quinoa salad that we had the other day that was really good. Kristen says, bleh, but everybody else loved it. I don't like Well, you know what? At how much, an hour and a half to go, it looks like a good option to me. And I'm gonna put some nice you know scallions in there. This is gonna sound strange, but still like in my mind, sometimes I think of foods at, like I classify them as like, for adults, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this sounds so, like, fancy and, like, and I always just equated, like, fancy food with, like, I'm not gonna like that. I'd just rather have, like, a hamburger or a sandwich or something. You can. It's a barbecue. <laughs> no, you don't I have know, to eat it. No, I'm just saying, like, that's why I don't like certain types of food like that. Alright, well, thank you for your opinion. Move along. <laughs> like, in college one time, I was waiting for my music class to start, and the professor overheard me talking to this girl, because it was almost um, Thanksgiving, and I was like, yeah, I freaking hate Thanksgiving Day food so much. I'd rather just have a sub. And she's like, what? I've never heard anyone talk like that. You fail! <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? I wouldn't laugh. All right, so I'm gonna make that later on, so stay tuned. We're probably not gonna show too much at the christening because it's not our baby. And I'm not putting my family, you know, that probably doesn't wanna be on the internet on the internet. So, um, yeah, we'll show Granny though. Granny's always a winner, because Granny will be there. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get this together. It's very simple, it takes about 20 minutes. Looks kind of fancy. It's a win-win. And we still get to have the lasagna cups no. later. You excited for the lasagna cups? Yep. All right, well, congratulations. Uh, rake, 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 rake. <laughs> Yay, Lucy wants to go to the party and dance. Lucy's a dancer. Yay. Lucy's a dancer. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. All right, everything got done. That was a miracle. Now we gotta go because we are six minutes late already. Well, it's better than half an hour. All right, we made it back. I know we're in between. We're in between the party and the um, cer the ceremony. <laughs> My parents said I must go to the ceremony. All right, it was very good. The baby did very, very well. She didn't cry. Everybody was loving her. This was her the whole time. <laughs> she was so cute, wasn't she? She was great. All right, let's go get fat and eat delicious food here's what the? this is quiche oh, okay. and this is quinoa salad so let's go hey Hi. i'm ready to explode sorry we didn't show you t too much of the party or any of it for that matter because some people just don't want to be on the internet and it's you know i'm gonna respect that Did somebody say no no but i just get the feeling that you know they wouldn't want to be so, whatever, right? Whatever. You can see the rest of our day, though. You only lost a few hours, anyway. Sometimes we don't film all the time, anyway. So it's kind of like you didn't miss anything at all. Not at all. But I have to say, everybody loved the quiche and the quinoa. They kept all of the leftovers. <laughs> yeah, they really liked it. And somebody even asked me what the recipe was for the quinoa. It was a box mix. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got my dishes back. 
so we're headed home now. It is a beautiful Sunday that we can actually enjoy at home now because we're not going over to Granny's house. So. Drinks by the pool. Drinks by the pool? Oh, that sounds magical, doesn't it? Hey, how's the pool? What do you say? All right, relax. I just got my suit on. You look nice. Two glasses? Yep. Hey. Sean, it's our first time in the pool today. We're newbies. Not like you old dogs. Goosey! I'm waiting for Lucin Lucinda to jump in. Puppy's got a shady spot right over there. Under the cat bird. You have the cat bird? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Not quite a peacock. Oh, is that lit? Yeah. Lucy! Duh. <laughs> really? I think I'm going to need to put that up. Alright. Alright, there's our cat bird who comes back every single year since we've moved in practically. I don't know if you guys can see him. Where are you, cat bird? I don't know if it's exactly showing up or not. But he's up there. Call on, cat bird. Ooh, I have help tonight. I have a sous chef at my fingertips. I don't like cutting things. I know. It's Maddie's doing a fantastic out. job, though, cutting up the mixed veggies because I'm going to make the lasagna cups. The veggie lasagna cups. So we have some carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli here. Maddie's cutting them up into uh, diced sized pieces. We're also going to throw in some uh, grape tomatoes diced up. And you don't have to do those. Okay. Don't get upset. Some scallions over there is the onion. I'm doing it a little bit different than in the magazine. I'm just um, taking their recipe as an inspiration. I'm adding spices, some uh, basil and oregano, uh, some garlic, some salt and pepper, of course, because you always have to add that. And the other bowl of ingredients here is going to be mozzarella, ricotta, one egg, and what we lovingly refer to as salad cheese, which is Parmesan blend. Parmesan! So we're going to mix that up. Um, going to get everything all cut up over there. And we'll take our magical egg roll wrappers, which are supposed to be wonton wrappers, <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> Wrong ones. We're going to um, use those as the base for this. And when we get everything all assembled here for the different stations will show you exactly what to do yeah all right guys here we go we got some various stages of development here you put the egg roll wrapper in the bottom of the muffin cup uh, then you put in a couple of tablespoons of the veggie mix which is over here then on top of that you put a couple of tablespoons of the cheese mixture and we're going to pop this all in the oven when it's ready and it's going to be in probably about 20 minutes at 375. So let's get this batch in and get another batch going because I only, this is the only uh, muffin pan that fits in the uh, toaster oven. So I'm going to have to do it in batches. But that's okay because this is the kind of thing that you, it's fun for the kids. It's easy to do. It's not as daunting as putting together a whole lasagna. It's kind of fresher than a lasagna with all that heavy tomato sauce because the tomato sauce is going to come from the fresh grape tomatoes so it's going to be lighter we're going to serve it on a salad in our summer salad series and uh, I think it's going to be a, a really nice summer dinner so I hope you try it out and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out Ooh, I dozed off a little bit there while they were in the oven everybody seems to be pretty tired Goosey's over here taking a nap Mark's in the bedroom snoozing away so here was the first batch. Um, they come out pretty easily. I, I really like making them in the muffin pan. Unfortunately, I have to get another one of these pans. I only have one, so I put the other ones in here. Um, they, didn't, they don't come out as cleanly, but I mean, in a pinch, it's okay. So they were in for 20 minutes at 375. I even had a little bit extra, so I uh, rolled up 
like a egg roll and made like that as well. But let's get the proof is in the tasting, so let's get Kristen to say uh, very good. <laughs> Before I even asked her, she said very good. She's got her salad there, and uh, she's enjoying that. Mm -hmm. You'd you'd recommend that to be made again on? Uh, sure. Yeah. It's not gluten free though. The wonton wrapper has a little bit of gluten, but yeah. Sometimes you know. Facts of life. Take the good, you take the bad. <laughs> you have them both and you got gluten on your plate. But sometimes it's okay. Maybe I could find some gluten-free uh, wrappers or maybe, just maybe I could use a uh, gluten-free like burrito wrapper. That might uh, work as well. I'll look into it. I'll let you guys know uh, what I find out if you guys are interested in gluten-free. So, uh... Yeah, it was pretty quick. Hello. Hello. I'm far away because I'm sitting down. I'm so tired. I just was napping. I tried to nap earlier, but it wasn't working. Why is that like gelatin? I don't, because it was probably like, it was on the door. It's weirding me out. Sorry. I can have this one. Okay. What's the green? Uh, probably from pistachio ice cream. You know, like. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> this is uh -huh. Benzo. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted. Me too. Mm -hmm. I've got that thing where you're tired and your head just feels like cloudy. Yeah. But I wanted to like catch up on my Beamly stuff again tonight. Right. It's a lot of work. I can't believe she actually chewed through that. <laughs> she made a freaking mess. Do you see all those little blue dots? <laughs> no words. I never had a dog chew this much. She's a chewing machine. We're sending out some positive vibes to yes. Karen Smuller's uh, Newfie. Mm -hmm. So sorry to hear that um, they're having a tough time. Pets mean everything to us. Yes. They are members of our family and that's where we're similar with you guys. Uh, you know, a lot of people feel that if you're a real pet lover, they're part of the family. Mm -hmm. And we feel for you. So Definitely. we're sending out the positive vibes, hoping everything is okay. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I know, I saw that before and I was like, oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad. Um, it's Sunday night, 10 o'clock. The weekend is slowly slipping, well, very quickly slipping away now. Yeah. <laughs> Work tomorrow. Back to the grind. <sighs> Something tells me Kristen and I are not going to the movies. When were you supposed to go to the movies? Tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Good luck. Big Brother starts on Wednesday. It's exciting, but it's also like... We are so behind on everything that we had hoped to do before Big Brother started. So that really sucks because we had a long list right here of stuff that we were going to do with the new channel and everything. We're hopefully trying to launch the new channel by Wednesday. So... I don't know if it's gonna happen though. It that, might not. Yeah. We might need like another week. I need a little bit of this. Yeah, I think some, uh, yeah, some trail mix or something. I might put some blueberries on mine. I think oh, I'm just gonna take special? this little one. Yeah, I'm gonna put some blueberries, I think. So, when I, when I, uh, when Daddy came in here and I woke up, I was like, what, it's 10 o'clock already? This is crazy. Where did the day go? Uh, yes, yeah, Sean. <laughs> Sean, here. But... Till next time. Thank you. Edit.